Good morning, good evening, and good day. Thank you so much for watching Attack Power Gaming. Today, we continue our How to Play the Division series with the Second Guard Tank. If you enjoy this content, hit that like button, subscribe, and consider supporting on Patreon. It really helps out, and you get better at Steel Division 2 through coaching replays and Discord. Let's dive right in. So, uh, we're on Siano here, second guard tank, balance versus a maverick, first blind dots. I've seen this deck a lot lately, actually. Uh, I want it to be good. I want to be good with it. I should say it that way. I'm not. Wish I was. But uh, I think this is a good map for us. So, the key to this deck for second guards, uh, our infantry are generally actually quite good at close range with our Sapadi and you get the nine tanko Desaniki. So, you should be able to win forest fights at the majority of the time, especially against, like, Axis divisions. Although the first Mandata does get those assault units, so that's definitely an issue. But we can use our 2000 range T34s. This map's actually very good for us. Our 2000 um, kilometer T34s here, which I happen to have an A, perfect, means I can really dominate this ground down here. So T two T34s should be able to really hold the line there. And they're pretty fast at the beginning, which means I can actually get to the front line. But you generally want to start off with the second guard with a PTRS rush. Yes, it's cheesy. Yes, it's wrong. That's all I have to say about it. <laughs> if you have the ability to do it, generally speaking, you probably should. I know. It, it feels dirty. I don't like it. Though it's nice to be on the giving end for once instead of the receiving end. I will say that. I will say that. Let's see if we can't get in over there. We have him going to there. We, of course, want to throw one right here in the middle. Yep, yep, yep. Let's throw two over here. Sorry about that. Got things editing in the background, you know. Always a lot going on around here. We're going to throw one over here, and then actually we're going to fast, and then unload, and we're going to walk him up and continue the jerkness. Continue that douchiness. Uh, mm, well maybe, but let's just leave it at that for now. I think that's plenty. Ah, uh, da, 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 da. Now, the thing is, my, um, you know, my infantry really don't, like, hit very hard here at the beginning. Uh, they get stronger, of course, as we go, but especially the beginning here, really not strong. So, we need to take advantage of our Maxims and Machine Guns, OBS's, uh, OB25's, I'm going to always call it OBS on accident, I'm sorry. Uh, it's literally because the recording system is called OBS. And I'm, I'm going to do that forever, I apologize. But we want to be aggressive, we got to take ground early, and then use our tanks to basically hold them off from ever getting back into it. So I'm going to try to push them out of this town in the center here. Of course, I need to try to grab this. When you're on Siana, you really, when you're on this side, which is the better side, uh, you really got to try to take this stuff down here, make life hard for your opponent. Because uh, this is like two free flags. Like once you get them out of this ravine, it's very, very challenging for them to get back into it. Which makes it a priority for taking it. And an OB-25, now that I'm saying it right. I'm going to put it right here. It only has 1,500 meter range, so I don't want to put it where the opponent can see it. Although, first Mandata doesn't have a lot of um, 2K stuff to start, so this is definitely a good map for us. I think this is a pretty good map, actually, for this division. I I feel pretty good being on it. We're going to send Gavardia here. They're a little bit faster. And I don't think the half track will survive down here anyway. So not a whole lot of reason to waste my troops down there on it. I am going to send a tank over here though. Try to get into this little forest area. <clears throat> and then uh, 
Yeah, I'm going to do this too. So we're going to do a fast move and then an unload down here. See if we can't get into this tanko down here. The thing is the, uh, you know, these M2A1 half tracks can be really, really good against certain divisions. And this could be one of them. Going to send a T-34-76 right here. I actually don't want it to get, you know, hit by any AT, which is why I'm not putting it further forward. A BA-10 here in the center should also be quite good. Yes, I like it. Depending more on my AT rifles there. Uh, when he brings in tanks, I'll bring in some ZIS-3s or something like that. I do kind of want some Air Force early. I mean, not Air Force, excuse me, AA. The opposite of Air Force. Mm. So I get one 37 mil over here, or I could get a 45, like in both positions. Hmm. Let's go for the one 37 mil down here. And uh, try to buy a second one towards the beginning here. Feel good defense-wise over here. I'm just going to do another Gavardia. Unfortunately, I have no leaders in A, so I've got to deal with that. Good luck. Have fun. He does send like a tank or something. A T-34-76 should actually do just fine at this range against all his armor. He's got Stugs and T Panzer IVs. So like nothing that concerning, honestly. And that's my big issue with Blindata, first Blindata. And I, I want to love the division because you know how I feel about 5th Cav and stuff. And I, I love the Romanian divisions. It's just like it feels such like a mediocre German armored division. <laughs> Except there's nothing super strong about it. You get some stronger infantry, but not much stronger, quite frankly. Like, not like... I I would prefer Panzer Grenadiers a lot of times over, over the Venatori. There we go. Oh, hello! Did not expect that. What do you have there? Let's get an early P2. Let's get the fun started. That Rashitsa is obviously very dangerous. I really don't want to lose my T-34 70s. T-34 this early. How's it going on down here? I honestly forgot about my uh, recon bombers at the beginning, so that's a bummer. They are not supposed to be over there. Okay, so Tanko's got in. Grab that, 16-8, very nice. Got to back this up so it doesn't die to, you know, everything. He got really crushed. I do not feel like he should have been so thoroughly destroyed. Arnhem Cheeky went down. That's unfortunate. Let's get a Panda Shrek in here, along with a T-34. PTRS letting me down. Let's just uh, grab another. At first, you don't succeed. Try, try again, right? Tanko went down there. Unfortunate. Oh, come on. 
God, her sheets says are good. He called that 37 mil and I just remembered. Actually, go to this side. All right, here we go. Got that out of the way. Let's grab another one of these. Cool Beanos. He amazingly has not posted any AT up over there. Uh... Let's just do this. 2A1 does go down. Unfortunate, to be sure. Let's see if we can't get a BA-10 in over there, though. Get your little tack on crap out of here. Let's get another Gavardia and Tanko Desaniki up in here. There we go. Very nice. Still 1410. Lost my OB25. I definitely need to kill that. If I'm a little more careful with my T34, I may be able to get it. I'll just move him there. Should be an easy win. It's kind of the point of this dude. Oh, I never called in that AA. Regretting it immensely already. Goodbye, T-34. Calling some more Gavardia. Next will be AA. Got the 15-9 back. That's cool. Understand how this OB isn't doing anything. Alright, took that out. Does he see me? Oh wait, absolutely does. He ate 10 destroyed, uh oh. I don't like that, now do I? I do need some anti-air though. Can't get lazy about this. That is a bummer. Oh! This is why these things are so ridiculous. Two tankos. There we go. Stu 42 dead. Definitely nice. Actually, let's just do it right there. Maybe you can go get him. I don't want that fight. I said I didn't want that fight. Nice. Those are extremely dangerous. Killing them is huge. What's over here? 
Nothing back breaking. Love to capture this back. What kind of fight at 105 there? He did not get his bomb off. I love it. I'd prefer to kill it. You can kill my M2A1. Go for it, buddy. <clears throat> Death from my 20 point plane. This could be problematic. Let's bring another T-34 with some more machine guns. Let's call him two more of these. He obviously does not have any sort of, uh, you know, any sort of AA over here. Get in there, boys. Oh, come on. Anytime someone does this against me, it works just beautifully. All right, we got a pen. Let's call on this in case things get... Oh, hello. Really? We're doing this? Better not miss. I had another tank coming, right? Yeah, I did. Alright. He did. It's all good. Once he's in range, going to town. Yes, it's on heat rounds. They're terrible. Okay, I know he's over here. I'm gonna get a Zis. There we go. Cool. Driver knocked out. Alright. It's unfortunate. It is what it is, no? We should probably be pushing these dudes across. I definitely need a real anti-tank gun over here. Apparently he hasn't seen this? I'm cool with that. Gavardias don't have the PTRS. What is it? Okay. Oh, this. That was nice. Of course, he lands. Beautiful. Let's go try to finish that thing off. Come on. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's dirty. Please kill it. Please kill it. Please kill it. I don't even care if I lose my PE2, which I won't because they're disgusting. Oh, hey. Did 
Did everything really die? That's bad. Uh-oh. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Uh, so yeah, I gotta really start... I, I established a good, you know, position now. I need to try to start using my T-3045s to hold those positions. Got a bad breakthrough over here, though, so we definitely need to fix that, of course. Gonna keep using my Tankos, supported by my M2A1s, to do the job here. I would think one of these could do the job at some point, maybe? No? No, still no. No? Okay. Is what it is. Tankos to clear this out, along with some Gavardia DP. Uh, Assist 2 here would be very good. Of course, my... Uh, of course, my T-34 lost. Because that's what it does. I want this Rashitsa dead. I know how good it is. That's bad. Capture this back. Back to the 1311. That's good. Let's see what happens if I push that forward a little bit. I'd love to take that down. That'd be sick. Let's get a Gavardia. It is what it is. Let's call in some T-34s. Let's do the thing. My guys are better. Have to be careful. I'm not sure how he's seeing me so easily. I guess oh, it's a, it's a tank destroyer, so they have better uh, sight. For whatever reason, it's always a kind of an odd thing, in my opinion. I shouldn't need the APCR. This this little tacom is gonna be an issue, weirdly enough. Of all things. So he just got another one, I, I see. So his response to his issue was get another. That's fine, I have an ISU. And that's what you need when you have problems with the long range, just get an ISU. I might be able to beat this thing, depending on how I micro here. Oh, he fired too fast. Did not expect him to shoot so quickly. T-34, finally in range, takes out one. I love it. Oh, it looks like the Tankos did the job again. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Yep, fight him back. It's not the end of the world. I got stuff. Actually, it's going pretty fine, honestly. I'd love to be able to capture this point in the middle. But yeah, this is where now I gotta use my, uh... Gotta use my T-34s and stuff to start really pushing him about. That Rashitsa did get a good shot on me, but nothing game-ending. I have more PE-2s to do the work. That thing is annoying. So let's call in another OB and another Maxim. I don't care about the infantry. Shoot the Rashitsa. This two died. That sucks. Let's call another Tanko in. It's okay. This is what I have my air defense for. Now at some point here we can start considering bringing an off map. Get in range, let's go. Yes. That 37 millimeter thing can get really old. Jeez. 
Let's start getting some leaders in now that I have it at B. Let's move forward, try to help them out. There we go. Get him out of the way. Don't want any of that crap. Uh, let's just get two Gavardia. That's basically what I'm using these for. They're out of ammo. Interesting. Don't see that often. There we go. I need some recon over here. So I'm gonna get a Razvedka. I just, I gotta be able to see. I can't see. These TACOMs are so annoying. I'm gonna get another tank at some point. This has 1750 meter range, unfortunately, so. Not gonna help me. Nice. Go away. Let's call in some more T7, uh, T3476s. Let's call in some more DPs over here. 12, 12. I just gotta survive the onslaught now. P2, go be unfair. You, go be unfair. Yep, 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 yep. It's all good. It's all good. Unfortunately, I'm going to fly over his 37 mil here. And of course, mine is disabled. Oh, he finally uh, actually got some defenses over here. Uh, let's get some Sapori to push back into this little woods here. Razvedka are going to move forward. Unload, unload. That would be nice. Arashitsa, those things are so beautiful. Ow, oh, T30, uh, Panzer IV actually bouncing shells. I gotta say, I'm impressed. Because it doesn't ever really do that for me. Oh, that one's 125. That's a bummer. What's happening? No. Oh. It's alright, I got... Oh, he's might calling more off-map on me. But we are in phase C now. And it's 12-12 and he's the one down, so this is what you gotta do. Oh, didn't realize he was hurt. Bloop. Delete. And now we move forward, this bad boy. And he s scoops there, seeing that that is the end. And that is the benefit of playing balanced. Um... If you can, like, survive your opponent's Maverick push in a good position, the opponent has no chance after that. That's what I like about balanced. I don't like feeling like I'm out of time. But, yeah, that's how you play second. You got to use your... You, you got close-range infantry. You do have CQC units, so use them aggressively to hold those forests and stuff. And then use your armor and your good support weapons to help win the long-range engagements because you don't have great units for that. You have one card of DPs and... um. Uh, Strel uh, Gavardia DP. Your normal Gavardias aren't good at range. Like, they just aren't. So, having that is really, really helpful. So, I did shoot that down. This, uh, this 80, uh, 37 mil did a lot of work. Uh, calling in AA early, probably a good idea. And if you run into big problems, like with the Rashids and stuff, ISU 152, delete. Delete. That thing is ridiculous. Let's see what did some work here. Uh, PTRS is at the beginning. Oh, wow. Really? Oh, it must have shot it in the back lines. This was the dude hiding in the back. Oh, that's a huge kill. These are literally the most precious resource of the Romanian divisions. Uh, let's see. This one did quite well. Kill MG34 and TACOM. OB25s are really good. You, you really should use them. They're really strong. 
be it just it's just a lot of like soviet divisions tend to just be like all these units that are slightly better than the going rate essentially like a ba10 an ob25 like just slightly better than their axis counterparts which makes them good so it's just that's what makes them so solid uh 37 mil did a really nice job um you know i like these u2 things i do they're only 20 points and if the opponent doesn't have aa you're getting 400 kilogram bomb uh, 50 kilogram bombs for 20 points i don't think there's any cheaper bomber in the game i think there's a maybe a 15.1 in, in some junkie division but i think that's one of the smallest t3476 is they're fine i went when did i oh he probably got it when he drove around the corner so that's a big kill there um this two i like the this two i'm a big fan of this twos uh, they're, they're actually good at guns this threes are fine they're actually i actually view them more like support guns really uh t3045s i really like them i really do i think they perform quite well and you can see here it did um at range they really do dominate things like stugs losses here these tacoms were really annoying uh they really messed up my m2a1s which are really important for supporting at the beginning uh this ta i don't know where this one oh this must have been the town one like that one over like left of the town there i guess let him got get way too many kills with that uh bf1 and i yeah, shot down my u2s <laughs> Funny thing is, though, that still costs more than the U2 said. Three planes shot down, his one plane still costs more. Gotta love it. Rashitsa. It's hard to get away. It's hard to get away from these guys doing well. Same with the Pianetti Assault. Some just, like, really strong units out of First Mundatsa, but I just don't... I don't think they do anything, like, supremely better. And that's the issue. But, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, and consider supporting on Patreon. Thanks a bunch. Have a fantastic day.